Hello, I'm excited today to um, have two holiday plates to show you from Bunny Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you one, um, their HD-A plate, and in a separate video, I'm going to show you HD-B. HD plate A covers um, Easter, it covers Fourth of July, it, co it has some wedding stuff, and some um, kind of general hearts for wedding, it could be for Valentine's Day too. Um, and HDB focuses more on um, St. Patrick's Day, but also some on Easter and Valentine's Day. Uh, just like with all plates these days, pretty much, um, it comes with this blue film that you just can pull right off pretty darn easily. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the designs first, then I'll go test them, and I'll show you also a size comparison. So first we have some hearts, pretty standard hearts, a little bear, kind of a teddy bear, um, box of candies, a couple of little cupids, a heart, so a little bit of a Valentine's theme, but could also go with um, the wedding theme below. I like the words. I like doing fun things with words, so you know you're going to see some of this for me and then another little heart design. Um, I said in the other video that uh, I don't really like heart designs very much. This one I actually kind of like. Uh, it doesn't, it's not just kind of a plain heart design and I love this heart design. I think that's just so fun and so pretty. Uh, little, nice little rose. Get a good angle there. And I like this, like the little love note pinned on the calendar and a heart-shaped balloon, Cupid's arrows. I really like this scribbled heart. I think that's pretty cool. And this is neat, the um, the heart in the inside of the thought balloon. It's like you could stamp the, the little bear and the little bear saying, I love you, very cute. Uh, a bow, and then this present with the love coming out. That's really cute. Uh, broken heart, it could actually be kind of like a broken heart, love sucks thing, which is, um, you know, kind of the anti-Valentine thing. You, you'll see I'm going to have a couple of anti-Valentine Day manicures up this year. Um, or you could even do like a healing heart manicure, like getting over a broken heart. I think that could be pretty cool. I love this background, this Easter or spring background with the flowers and the little leaves. And a couple of bunnies. So cute, these little bunnies. And I like that they're solid and not outlined. So you can stamp the bunny in the color that you want and then you could add an eye or you could add a little pattern on the bunny makes it uh, really versatile I think I love these different Easter eggs if you want to do an Easter egg manicure you can um, and the little candy that comes out I like the chick and the egg and the happy Easter and the little chick coming out of the egg that reminds me of the partridge family the logo the the never mind and then another one if you want to turn your whole nail into an Easter egg I said in the other video um, that I'm going to be putting up that I tried I tried to do some nail art um, to make one of my nails look like an Easter egg and it came out really, really bad. If you look really early on my blog, I think I put it up there. Um, this makes that kind of thing really easy to turn your, your um, nails into an Easter egg. Getting into the 4th of July stuff, I like this where you can stamp like one nail with this half, another nail with that, or just the same nail. You can do both stars and stripes. Or you can just do the whole flag right there. Um, you could just stamp USA if you want, July 4th. I love these balloons, different kinds of balloons. And then fireworks, those are cool fireworks. You could put them at an angle, could put them going straight up in the little rocket. This is so cool. When I was doing my New Year's Eve manicures, um, I was looking for something like this and I realized that I didn't really have anything like this. I love it with the curly confetti going. And you could use this for any occasion. Fourth of July, you could do it in red, white, and blue. Um, you know, New Year's, birthday, just about anything. Or even the wedding, you could do it in silver or white or whatever. I like this pretty overall. You know I love any kind of overall background pattern, but this really feels like, like a kaleidoscope pattern to me. I love it. I think it's so cool. 
Um, if you're going to a wedding or if you're getting married, going to an engagement party, anything like that, how cool are those wedding rings and the little church and the wedding cake? And I love this for, for just about anything, really, not just a wedding, but it's just a cute, easy stamp to use, but it could be so pretty. You can put the different, different colors of polish for the flowers and for the leaves. So nice. I love the doves. Um, the Marry Me, I think that's cute. I like the I Do. And this, again, could be used for any occasion, not just weddings, but um, if you didn't want the hearts, you could just use that part of the stamp for New Year, something like that. How cool is the bride and the groom there and the Mr. and Mrs.? I love that. And then, of course, the identifier, HD-A, Holiday Plate by Bunny Nails. Um, and I said on the other plate, same thing. You could even just isolate Holiday if you wanted to stamp that, or Bunny if you wanted to do something, you know, for Easter. So I like the fact that it's etched, and you can actually use that for something if you wanted to. If you wanted to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go test out the images and come back and show you the images on one of my hands here. And then I'll also show you a size comparison to Conan. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back with plate HD-A, the tests that I've done with HD-A. Um, I have, <laughs> the manicures I have on right now are really messed up. I've been packing boxes and just um, really doing a lot of stuff to them. There's dents and dings in them. And I wanted that to be the case so that you could see that um, these plates will stamp beautifully on, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect surface. Also, I didn't worry about placement, just quick, fast stamping. So you can see, you don't have to go to any kind of perfect lengths to try to get, you know, a nice image with these plates. Okay, so here is the graffiti-ish, or the graffiti, the confetti <laughs> um, image. And you can see that just came out really, really pretty there. Then I've got um, one of my favorites here, the, the scribbled heart. And you can see how all of the detail on that image is just beautifully translated to the stamp. Um, then I did the the spring background with the flowers and the leaves. Look there, you can see some of the big dents in my polish right there. Um, just crisp, beautiful stamping. No issues at all. Here's another one of the little Easter eggs. Um, and see, just perfect stamping. And you can tell from all of the stuff on my nails and everything that I definitely didn't do this like perfectly and redo it a hundred times. And I wanted to get the letters and I kind of pushed the S off my nail there, but you can see, you can completely read the writing and everything. Really great, great quality, stamps beautifully. And then of course, last but not least, the comparison. This is a standard Conad plate to show you that the images you get here are huge. You're not, you shouldn't have any problem covering your entire nail with these images. Even if you have longer nails, if you have wider nail beds, mine curve, mine are very um, curved. No problems at all. I don't even come close to using the whole image. And you can also, I think, see that the engraving is on par. I mean, you can tell that from the stamp test anyway, so. I'm going to put all of the information about where you can get these from Bunny Nails uh, down in the description box below. So check it out there for all of those links and all the information on how to buy this. Um, also, I'm going to have still shots on my blog. I'll have the link for that below as well. And my blog is lacquerlever.blogspot.com. And again, this is at Bunny Nails, is the manufacturer of these and where you can make these. And I'll have the exact link down below. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.